Oh, that's master closet. Show it. All right. Show it. Now master, master bedroom right here. All of this is master bedroom. I'm gonna do run around in circles real quick so he has to follow me. <laughs> Edition, isn't it? Wow. Looks a lot bigger when the walls are up, huh? So this is that curbing that I was telling you about. Because oh. the ground comes up higher on the outside than it is on the inside, and we want to keep all this level so that it can match the height on the on the inside of the house. So what you do is you build up on the outside and seal it, and nobody knows because this sheetrock goes all the way down to here. It'll look the same as, all, as it just looks like taller walls. Yeah. Is that like the same construction of a basement? Similar, yeah, similar. It's just a little mini basement. <laughs> but that's how you get, that's how you solve water issues. A lot of people don't do that, and then water will end up coming up inside and getting too close to the foundation. You can see on the outside here, Justin can show it, which yeah, I think he was already doing, but we're nice and high off the ground, and we can have ground sloping away here. Don't fall. So it's eight feet on the outside. It's a typical eight feet height on the outside, and then it goes down further on the inside, so it gives it a little taller ceiling, a little taller wall. So that part is going to be the bathroom? Oh yeah, you want to see that? That's the bathroom. Okay. Right here, all of this is the bathroom and master closet. closet. This, is, this is master closet, bathroom over here. Shower, toilet, master closet over here. Justin's trying to follow me. Oh, that's master closet. Show it. All right. Sure. Now master, master bedroom right here. All of this is master bedroom. I'm gonna do run around in circles real quick so he has to follow me. <laughs> and this will be a nice entrance to the bathroom area and vanity. It'll be an open area. And we'll have an entrance coming right in here. Everything is matching the home as far as the colors go. So all the bronze windows are to match what's already on the home. Now you can see up through here, Justin, I want you to show that we were able to keep it a little bit below that window. We were able to keep it just below that window with this roof line. See that up there? Mm -hmm. It's still below the window, so we can flash all that up there and not have to get into the window. That was a good design. But let's step out here he can. and see what else. He can. He's a daredevil. His cat. Oh. His what? I got it. His what? So now we have a patio. This is going to be a cool design right here with these posts. It's going to look, it's going to look really nice. We've got a cool design set up for that. We also capped the existing patio because when we came out from this level, remember we talked about it during the foundation pour, that if we would have stayed with the current level, it would have been in the ground over here. But now you can see that it is out of the ground. You can see it's out of the ground, the water's gonna flow around it, it's gonna work out really nicely. Okay. Looking good, we've got trims out to do, we've got some build out on the slab to do, that's all part of it. And then roofing. Roofing goes on soon and stucco to match what's on the home over there. And siding, a little bit of siding. Windows go in tomorrow. This is a nice look. You will never be able to tell this was added on. And it extended their patio also. 
We're gonna have some doors coming out from the patio. Take a look at that, Justin. Look at how this looks. So I have a nice entrance into the home, a new, new patio extension that you can come around the living room with, and then uh, come in through the bedroom through the other side. The master suite comes in through the main living area. That's the main living area right off of there. Is there a reason why we haven't opened that wall up between the addition and like how's that how's that work? Yeah, we want to get this further along. All the ins, exterior interior trades, get all that done, then start sheetrocking, and then we'll, we'll do the opening. That way, right now, the homeowner's not being disturbed any more than there's some people in their backyard working. It's like we're never here. We're just like we're lawn people right now. So yeah, that will not. That really increases the satisfaction when we don't make that penetration till as late as possible. Now for us, it'd be easier if we had it open now, but that's not the way we want to treat our client. So that we want them to feel good the whole time. That's why what? That way that whole wall's not... Yeah, that's why it's... It's also part of it right now, it's protecting us from the weather. Until we get the roof on this, it also protects them from the weather. If you make penetrations like a lot of idiots do, whenever they... Uh, do remodeling, they start tearing things out, then you've got water coming in, wind, you've got critters climbing in your walls, and then you've got also possible intruders that want to break into your house easier. So that's not a good series of things. So we're going to make sure that we protect them so that it's a, it's a calm way of doing business. It keeps people a lot happier for a lot longer. And the drums have all